I'm here with former Cat AM TV host and current liberal candidate for St. John South Mount Pearl, my buddy Seamus O'Regan. Welcome to the show, Seamus. Thanks, buddy. And also, Mark Hiscock from the great band Shanaganuck. This is uh, his boat. Uh, Seamus, you were a TV star for 10 years, and now you want to get into federal Canadian politics. Why are you choosing this point in your life to throw everything you've worked for away? <laughs> That's an excellent question. Why? Jesus, Murphy. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, we lost him. It looked like a shark. That was like, he looked like a shark. You see, the lies like are starting shark. right now. First of all, a second ago, it was a small codfish. Now it's a shark. It's a shark. You have a future in politics, my friend. You're already big up in yourself. Great wife. People know you from Canada AM. A lot of journalists get into politics. Why is that? I don't know. We don't have meetings. You got you, you got uh, Mike Duffy, and Pamela Wallen. So judging by the history of CTV journalists and politics, now, to be anything fair, now to be your fair, little greedy fair, tentacles Pam. are going to get in there and <laughs> suck the <laughs> coin <laughs> right out of the government. Every penny. Pam and Mike were also CBC journalists. And we Just let them go saying. because they seem shady. <laughs> so now you and Justin were always good buddies, right? Yeah. So were you the guy who gave him the joint, he says? Did you ever, you said, no. he always says, I like, go oh, only smoke no. weed once. Was that with you? No. You and him over the story I am, I'm hearing. I am proud to say yeah. that I did throw his stag party here. Were there strippers? There's no strippers. No strippers? No strippers. Not even one stripper? No. No. So that was almost a great story. I know. And just went, ah, eh, nothing. You threw a stag party and no, no strippers. strippers. It's an interesting time to represent Newfoundland and Labrador uh, federally, though, because the place has changed a lot. It's changed a lot. I mean, you have a lot of young people who are moving back, people who have experiences all around the world who are coming back. The economy's doing gangbusters. I guess for the people in the mainland, it's not just, you know, uh, codfish and accordions anymore. Not now, Mark. Mark. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. I think you got something there, buddy. You got something. You got something. You got something. Oh, my God. Look at that. He caught one. Uh, a cod right now is a lot like you in politics, you see? What they're going to do is they're going to get you up in Ottawa. They're going to take you out of Newfoundland, bring you to Ottawa. Then they're going to cut your throat, <laughs> knock your head off, split you in two, look to see if there's any guts. And if there are, they're going to haul them out and throw them overboard. <laughs> <laughs>